Hello, my name is Mary Scott and I'm the chair of the School of Graphic Design at the Academy of Art University. This event we're having today is very exciting. These students have just had the last seven weeks to completely prepare a portfolio that contains all of the work that they've done within the last four years. They have to write the scripts, they have to photograph the work, and they have to tell a story because that the end of the day design is storytelling so each single student has their own approach to showing their work has developed a voice in which to talk about their work and a whole set of communication materials that will allow them to interview anywhere in the world the bottom line is they have all the tools they need now all they have to do is show up and make an impressive impression on a potential employer Hi, I'm Jason Schaefer. I'm very happy to be here today at the Graphic Design Final Portfolio Review with Adrienne Andrews. So happy to meet you. You too. Congratulations. Thank you. So this is a, a big deal. We are looking at, what are we looking at? This is the culmination of a lot of work. This is a combination of the last two and a half years of work uh, in the program. So yeah, it's putting it all together into one to market myself to obtain a job. <laughs> Your background was fine art before this? My background was fine arts, visual arts, yeah. I went to high school in the city for it um, at School of the Arts and graduated in visual arts and wasn't sure what to do with that. And somehow I kept hearing about graphic design and I had a little taste of it in high school and I was like, that was fun. And I decided to look into the school and the program and that's how I decided to come in and start. So was it hard to move from a physical medium to a digital medium and from a larger scale to a smaller scale? For me it was. Um, I, I, cha I had a challenge with it. it. It was for me because I didn't know any of the CS programs, so trying to teach myself along the way but having all the great ideas that you want to see come to life but not knowing exactly how to do it on the programs, that was the most challenging part. So I think that um, that's where I would say it did get hard from coming from the visual because the sketching part, oh, that's the easy yeah. part. So tell me a little bit about what your work because there's so much movement in your work. There's this beautiful color palette, um, very clean uh, font choices. So tell me a little bit about what it is that you're engaged by. Um, so for for me, um, colors are very, I love bright colors, I love bold colors. Um, so some of my latter projects that I've been working on, I've tried to incorporate a lot of color because before I, I was stuck in the black, white, and gray, and red palette. Um, so towards the end of the semester here, I wanted to expand more in color. Um, and I, I love sans serif typefaces. I'm such a big fan. <laughs> so I did, um, in fact, my book is done in Univer. Univer. Um, so I did, uh, I wanted to explore a lot with the, um, learn how to experiment with type. So a lot of like one of the projects on the postcards was a lot to do with um, experimental type. So projecting type off of um, a computer onto a wall and trying to see how you can capture different movement with the type and get different shapes. Um, just seeing what comes to life with the projects. So you light up when you talk about typography. I, I do. It Well, what part of design doesn't include yeah. typography? So you have to have some sort of a passion for it. Actually. Do you have any advice on that front? Because typography is one of those things that seems so simple when people first start to it. And it absolutely isn't. <laughs> It's one of the hardest things, I think. Um, you have to definitely pay attention to detail. Um, you have to make sure that like, you are finessing over everything, the kerning, the letting. You have to make sure that it looks good to the eye because you think people can't tell, but designers can tell. So they know what it looks like. So yeah, definitely finesse over all the small details. Now what? What would you like to do now? As your gra it's graduation time. Graduation time. I want to get into branding. Um, I enjoy logos. I enjoy the the taking the information from a client or the company and learning their background history and learning how to try to evolve them into a brand and um, I really enjoyed that um, out of my experience here. Do you have any advice for students who are following in your footsteps and moving from fine art to graphic design? Yes, don't hesitate to do it, but when you do do it, don't hesitate to ask for help. <laughs> Anyone who is willing to show you a few quick shorthand steps or any of the steps is very helpful because the more people were willing to show me how to do something, it was easier for me to 
learn how to do it oh, and, and Google everything. Okay. You Google okay. everything. <laughs> it's all <Yeah>. there. <laughs> Tell me about what we're looking at here because this represents a tremendous amount of work. Oh yeah, definitely. So of course uh, we do have our portfolio. We spent um, about uh, about eight to ten weeks on this. We have a our website that we of course had to company with it. Probably one of my favorite things are the products and even the work that um, we can accompany with our show. So we have, um, of course, um, I do love package design, so I definitely want to showcase that along with a um, winning project from um, Pantone of last year. A winning project? A winning project, yes. Fantastic. We won, um, it was a group project, about three other of us. Um, we called the Color Coalition. It's about anti-bullying. And um, we won a $10,000 uh, scholarship last year. There's such a diversity here. I can see a lot of... Um, clean design and, and beautiful color choices, yes. but is that something that really you're attracted to? Or there, You know what's very funny is I love, um, I've always wanted to do something really crazy and you know really big and bold and for some reason it just never came out successful. So, and it always transitioned to something very delicate, very beautiful type. And you know, I, I, I was pleased with that. So, um, something that I definitely do, um, well, along with um, strong imagery, definitely. So is that advice that you would have for students who want to be in your position graduating and showing that to be flexible and to really follow what it is that you want? Definitely be flexible. Um, I would say own your um, own your theme and own your concept and everything. Um, unfortunately for me, I kind of bounce around a little bit too much. Um, just really trying to hone in on a specific concept, but it never stuck until I found something that I could eventually turn out to be a whole um, showcase. So definitely um, own your own your concept. So what is it that you want to do now? Now that you're moving on to graduation, is there a particular area that you'd like to focus on? Or? Definitely package design is one of my favorites. I love working with my hands. And just recently, I um, really got into, I really have a passion for printmaking. You know, print is not a dying cause. So, so definitely do love, just want to work with my hands and kind of get dirty. <laughs> and have something tangible that you can... Tangible. I love the dimension. And I love the fact that it, I love the fact that, um, what you made, you can touch, you feel, and it's three-dimensional, it's not just on a screen or anything, you know, like a web design or a book or anything particularly, so. And do the skills that you engage making something three-dimensional translate over to interactive design and digital? Definitely, you know, um, a lot of, um, that's actually where I can easily work with my bigger types and everything, and but also so delicate, it transitions very well as um, also, so anything that I do, um, like my logos or um, definitely logos and branding I want it to transition even from a television screen so I definitely want to I definitely want to be able to see in every medium possible Suchi Menon so happy to meet you so this is an exciting time you're you're ready to graduate and showing off your final portfolio um, tell me a little bit about your work I like identity and branding I do a lot of logos and sketching I had a background in art. I went to fine art school in India, so I had a, a good foundation. Um, everything that I work around is usually identity-based, uh, systems that I create around these logos. So what is it about identities and logos that, that engages you so much? I feel like it's creating, uh, like giving birth to a person, you know, creating an identity for a personality and I like that yeah is there anything particularly challenging about distilling uh, a brand down to one symbol or mm -hmm. thousands and thousands of sketches yeah. and then having to choose that's the hard part we have uh, packaging here so you're working in three dimensions mm -hmm. you have your digital work and your print work mm -hmm. um, is there a big difference in working in these mediums yeah there's there's a lot of difference like I did this one on this has nothing to do with print I did this on a laser machine and it was done on plywood and not on book or, or any kind of paper material so the applications were different and even when designing it becomes very different
Do you have advice for students who are going to follow in your footsteps and travel across the world to study in San Francisco? Yeah, just be focused. You know, you can't lose your way. It's, it's hard. It's not easy. People come to the academy thinking it's going to be easy because it's art. Yes. But it's, it's not easy at all. It's, like, it's day and night. You, know, you have to work every day. So now that you've finally made it to the end of this journey, um, what are your goals? What are you hoping to do once you graduate? Um, I'm hoping to be able to get a job, uh, get some good experience, hopefully you know, work for a good company so that when I go back home I have a good start. And do you want to be working in print or digital or packaging or does that... Um, ideally print. Do those print skills translate to yeah. digital? Yeah, they do. They actually what they do here is they make sure you get the basics and then they make sure you, you're able to transform that into every other medium possible. So not just an app, but also like an online book and a website and a video. So it goes on and on. Okay. Well, any final advice for students who are following in your footsteps and want to end up at the por final portfolio review like this? Well, the end result is really, really good satisfying but it's really tough so if you're focused this is this is a good career path so what I have today is kind of you know my my overall book which a lot of time a lot of hard effort energy put towards a uh, few postcards for potential employers um, business cards the usual uh, crafted a website it's versatile on iPad and desktop what have you and then uh, potential employer packets what is it that you're the most inspired by? I think definitely working in print that not a lot of people you know, do or have a passion, passion for so much anymore. But um, yeah, I would say that that is my overall goal is to keep print alive and you know, definitely focus more so on art direction and advertising. What's been the most challenging part of this program? I think um, you know, just the faith that you, you have starting out a project and not being able to see the project fully you know, in your head. but. Eventually knowing that it will get there and it will get complete is, is definitely the biggest challenge. How would you describe your style? Definitely bold. I definitely, my goal is to impact people, you know, hit them over the head. Like uh, I had a teacher, Roland Young, say, you know, like that's the, the biggest thing you want to achieve in design is, you know, hit people over the head. We talked a little bit about, you started off with a very large class and by the end of the program, there's the few, the proud. There's not as nearly as many people in there. Yeah. Um, so what was it that got you through and kept you inspired in the program? Definitely this, you know, the final, the final show and having that diploma that I can go out to, you know, literally anywhere in the world and, you know, apply and feel confident in myself. So, so what's, are you going to stay in San Francisco or what's the next step? Still deciding, you know, I kind of uh, been looking into the possibilities of moving down south, like LA area. and. Um, I was told by another teacher who said that, uh, you know, my work definitely would fit in well in like, you know, um, I guess movie design or like movie posters, that type of thing. So um, check out that avenue. But for now, I'm in the city. That's great. Well, congratulations. So tell me what it is that you like about working in three dimensions. Well, it felt difficult at first because it's three dimensional. We're doing like 2Ds on this field. But when you put like and print something and try to put on something like tangible, it's I don't know. I feel like I feel good. It's more satisfying. Uh -huh, more satisfying. You're you're originally from Korea, is that correct? Yeah. And you're working in a, a communication field, and you're you're communicating in English, which is your second language. Um, how did you approach that? How, what? Well, you mean English? Yes. Yeah. Um work hard, like speak with other friends a lot, hang out with other friends a lot. But I'm not that like outgoing person. So yeah, I think hanging out with native friends might be a good way to learn English. Yeah. Are you hoping to go back to Korea and work in graphic design or are you gonna stay here? Um I wanna stay here if I can. I wanna get job here. <laughs> yeah. And are you? What, what kind of work are you looking for? Um, packaging design, or yeah, I think I'm really into packaging or branding. So tell me a little bit about this piece in particular. What's this? There is a beer called Red Stripe, and we had to like make a whole new concept for the new product. 
So what was your concept here? Well, actually, first, my concept was about like music things because Red Stripe is actually supporting reggae music festivals in Jamaica. Jamaica. So, and then I combined with like vintage feeling of the original bottle, like because it's stout. See, mm -hmm. this is the original bottle. So, I love it. Are you happy with how it came out? Yes, sure. <laughs> be, I love it. Mm -hmm. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Ju, and I'm a student at the Academy of Art University. And you're a graduating student yes. at the Academy of Art University. Thank you. It's an exciting time. So uh, we're at the portfolio, your final portfolio review. Um, tell me a little bit about what we're looking at here. So uh, for my concept of this project is, uh, well, the title, first of all, called Assemblage. And the reason I chose assemblage is this, this was also part of the art genre, right? Mm -hmm. So, and I believe that uh, designs from past, that when that designs from past meets the pre uh, design from the present, and it becomes unconventional design for the future. And that's how I believe. So for my portfolio, um, I was trying to do many different projects that have been done, combining as a one, as a piece, mm -hmm. so. Um, and you've got a lot of uh, color yes. and bold font choices, and uh, how, did, how did you approach that? Is that something that you really like working with, color? Yes, I like, uh, I like, well, first of all, I like photos, but not the color photos. I love, like, more like a newspaper, like, very black and white color. But then, when I see the, some elements, I love the colors. And my purpose for the designing is combining these two. I love to work as a print designer. Uh, that's why I brought my uh, print examples here. Um, the reason is, for the print design, I can explore many different things, how I think as a graphic, or like how like how I think as a graphic designer. Do you have any advice for students who are English is their second language, but they want to work in graphic design? Since the graphic design is visual design, well, the speaking is important, but then our main important thing is showing the visuals. Once that approaches the, the audience, and if they feel the same way, then the speaking becomes easier. So what do you want to do now? What, do you, what are your plans? Uh, first of all, since I'm an international student, I want to work as a graphic design where I can utilize and contribute my artistic skill to uh, some company where one person like me. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Uh, tell me about your portfolio today. So my concept is I played around the word of impressions. I feel like through life and especially my study in the academy, like each encounter with every people, with every project, it leaves an impression. And when I think about it, like basically all of our lives is about impressions. It's like first impressions and it kind of works well with the final portfolio when I finally like showcase who I am to the real world, the design world. So yeah, that's basically the the basic concept for my portfolio. And we're looking at print material, we're looking at digital content, we're looking right. at packaging design, I mean, you have a tremendous breadth of material here. So uh, tell, tell me a little bit about what we're looking at. Okay, so basically um, I have two books for my portfolio and then these are the package that we usually give to like our guests, mm -hmm. especially from the design firm and inside we have the resume and like postcard of our um, projects basically and like our business card and I do have my website here and these are just some samples of my previous projects throughout the study. So tell me a little bit about these projects. I mean this is uh, almost a s sculptural piece. Right. So wh what is this? Um, this one is for Package Design Tree with Tom McNulty. Um, we are assigned to do a clock project and when I think and pick an organization, basically company, and when I think about like California Academy of Science, because I'm into science too, um, the concept for this one is a space-time sundial, right? So it's kind of more interesting, and it intrigued me to actually do a sundial that actually worked for San Francisco, the latitude and everything. So I believe um, even though 
this is like a sculptural object. We learn about 3D that work that is very important in package design, especially and shapes and um, also like the package that is a solution basically for the problem that we create ourselves. So we create our own problem by creating the object and then we create the packaging to solve the problem. Which in this case, it's just basically a box which you can use to display this and that. You know. Is it particularly challenging to work in three dimensions or is it the same sort of skill set? I think it's just based on your interest basically. Some people are more into 2D and print material and some people are more into like working with hands and three-dimensional. I personally like a lot working with a lot of three-dimensional, so I like it. So you were going to have a lot of prospective students and up-and-coming students watching this that want to be in your position. So do you have any advice for them? How, to, how did you make it through this very difficult program and, and come out with such extraordinary work? Um, praying, I guess. Praying. <laughs> right, because um, in a lot of cases, like we just have to work hard mm -hmm. and keep trying different options that we haven't tried before to really find what works for you, what you really like. So just keep digging and keep playing. Keep with working concepts. hard. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jason Schaefer, and I'm here today with Mega Chin to talk about her work at the Graphic Design Portfolio Review. So nice to meet you and see your work. Nice to meet you too. Thank so you. this is a big deal. We're getting you're getting ready to graduate. Yeah, this is the set for me to get a work uh, to find a job, and then I'm pretty happy with it because um, Academy of Art has prepared me um, to be more professional to apply for work, and it's a good thing. So tell me about the different pieces here. We're looking at. Uh, three-dimensional as well as print work as well as some digital work um, so yeah uh, the part here is my portfolio it's um, the compilation of my works that I've been doing for four years here and then here is the side of the business card and then the postcard and here is some tangible works that I've been doing um, this is a clock design that I, uh, I did for the young museum um, it's more on the packaging side on a 3d uh, project and then here too is a book and then card set which is on the print side of the graphic design so yeah I've been doing both side by side and then I like it both whether 3d or more in a flat dimensional my book itself it contains uh, eight of my projects that I've been uh, working on this past four years and then um, the book itself is about mega which is it's from my name and then um, from mega itself I'm inspired to be more strong and powerful person. So from this portfolio, uh, I hope uh, I will be a um, more powerful and stronger person as a designer too. Do you have an area that you're hoping to move into? Do you want to be working in digital and in interactive? Or? Well, I'm pretty much like most of them. And then I really like to learn whether it's digital or it's printed or is it 3D. But yeah, I'm pretty moving towards branding mm -hmm. and the marketing itself or the branding and the set of it. So what's been the most challenging part of you in developing the, this portfolio? The challenging part is actually the time management, how you manage yourself. Actually, it's pretty intense. The class itself is pretty intense, but it will get you a really legit portfolio. Let me ask you too, because you're, I assume English is your second language, yeah, is that correct? Is and you're working in an area that's all about communication. So um, was that particularly challenging? How do you approach that? It's pretty much challenging because uh, the grammar and then the vocabulary that I use, I sometimes cannot um, di uh, communicate it directly. But well, Academy of Art has a pretty good um, resource for the um, second language uh, for the people who will help us. Like in our class, there is for an ESL teacher. Mm -hmm. There is Scott who help who really helped me for the content and then for the um, body copy for the grammar and all this stuff. Do you have any advice for other students, uh, ESL students who are following graphic design? You just need to keep learning, I guess, and then you need to make yourself brave to talk. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, people out there will really know that you are not from here, so they will really appreciate if you're brave enough to talk. They will try to understand you more, yeah. So now that you're graduating, what's what's next? What do you want to do next? Actually, I want to find work, actually, it, uh, of course, in graphic design department, uh, either in Bay, Bay Area or New York. 
because I've been living here for four years and then I want to try new stuff in New York. And New York is the heart of the art, so yeah, I hope I will get a job there. That's wonderful. Well, it's so nice to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Jason Schaefer, and I'm here at the Graphic Design Final Portfolio presentation today with Mark Coleman from Gensler. Mark, thank you so much for talking with us. My pleasure. So you have a lot to do and many places to be, and I'm just wondering what brings you here to, to meet these students? Well, uh, like many people, we struggle with, with finding uh, good creative talent, and uh, I find that the, the students that graduate from the academy are uh, some of the, the best in the area, if not the, the country. And I think the, the program here is really strong, and the, the students who finish uh, actually come, come out of the program with a really good set of skills. They're very quickly able to, to get up to speed in a design studio like ours. Actually, at the moment, I have uh, uh, two people on my staff who graduated from, from the academy. I'm on the, the lookout for some new talents. So that's why I came here tonight. And what in particular are you looking for? Because what I see here is a diversity work. There's uh, product design work, there's print work, there's digital work. So what is it that you're specifically looking for? Our focus would be on uh, print and digital. And uh, we, we kind of combine those two mediums in our uh, publications that we produce and, and the rest of our materials. So, uh, But essentially, I'm looking for somebody who just has a really solid background in in, in design, you know, somebody who's a, a good creative thinker uh, who can solve problems and who just has a great visual sense and sense of design. And you know, with those foundation skills, it's uh, easy for us to uh, to get somebody up to speed in our department who can who can really make a contribution. And for students who want to be working with you, how do they communicate that to you when you're looking at, at a portfolio? What is it about that particular portfolio that says this is somebody that I can work with? Uh, when it looks like there is a, a solid set of criteria behind their design solutions, you know, uh, like I mentioned earlier, people who uh, have a problem-solving ability and, and a, an ability to uh, communicate that through design, uh, that's the, the kind of individual that, uh, that actually we're looking for to be part of our team. So there's actually a substantial amount of thought that's gone into the design itself. When they can explain to me sort of what the design brief was, uh, how they approach solving the problem, and, and why their solution uh, would work, you know, that, that's the kind of conversation I'm looking to have with uh, the students. Any final advice for students who are uh, hoping to work with you someday? Uh, many of the people who, who are here and part of this graduating class have, have the, right, the right quality, so it's almost a matter of, you know, who, who would I choose among this, this group of talented students to, uh, to come work with us. So it's, you know, I, I think that they're, they're definitely uh, going out the door here with a real strong set of credentials and a strong portfolio to show.